What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to learn how to comment and reply on an Instagram post using the Instagram Graph API. We're going to set ourselves up with a web page where we're going to focus on one of the Instagram posts we have posted. I chose this video post I made. We're going to get the video, we're going to get the caption, and then we're going to use our get comments and our get reply endpoint in order to get the comments and display them below. See on this post, I have a couple comments and a couple replies we are able to display the user and a link to that user's Instagram profile. We also get back the comment and the number of likes on the comment. And then the same for the replies. This comment here and this reply both came from the Instagram Graph API. I posted them with the script. We can verify that they're on Instagram by clicking on our link to our post. Here we see my comment and my reply that both came from the Instagram Graph API. By the end of this video, we're gonna be able to post comments and replies on Instagram with the Instagram Graph API. Now before we get started, if you guys haven't been following along on my Instagram Graph API videos, you might want to go back and check them out because in this video, I'm going to be making some changes to the files I've created in past videos. Or you can go to github.com slash jstolpe and download the code. Link in the description. Now let's hop over to our obtaining access token.php file. We need to modify this and request new permissions so that we can get and manage comments. We're gonna update our permissions array right here and we're gonna add on two new permission requests. I've added on Instagram manage comments and manage pages. With these permissions, we will be able to get comments, replies, and comment and reply on our posts. So with these new permissions, we now need to request a new access token. I'm going to head over in the browser to my obtain access token.php file. I'm going to click on my login with Facebook link. It's going to take me to Facebook and it's going to ask me if I approve the permissions that this app is requesting. Click continue. It's going to redirect me back to my site and we're going to get ourselves an access token. This access token now includes the two new permissions that we have added, meaning we can now use this access token to query our comments and our replies endpoints on the Instagram Graph API. I'm going to copy that access token. I'm going to head over to my defines.php file and I'm going to save my access token right here. Now that our access token is saved in our defines file, we can close our defines file, we can close our obtain access token file, and we can head over to our business discovery file. So the next thing we need to do is we need to get an ID for one of our posts. With the ID, we'll be able to get the comments on that post. In a previous video, we created this file and it got us back our basic user information for a profile. Username, website, name, profile picture, URL, follower account, media account. This time we want to add on the actual media for the profile. So to do that in our endpoint format here, along with all of these other things that we're getting back for this user, we're going to request the media. And then inside the media, we can request all of the things that we want to get back for each media. So for each post on Instagram, what do we want to get back with the media object? The first thing we want to get back is the caption. Then we want to get back the like count. Comments count, media URL, permalink, which is a link to the post, and the media type, which tells us if it's a video or an image. That is our endpoint format. We're going to copy that paste it down here into our actual parameters array right after the media type. Then we're going to open up our web browser and go to our businessdiscovery.php. We now see our media array. We have an array of our posts that have come back from Instagram. We have gotten back uh, the specific fields that we requested. Our caption, the number of likes, the comments, count, media URL, permalink, link to the post, the media type, and the ID which we will use to get the comments and the replies. I am going to pick this post right here. We'll use this post as the one to get comments and replies and post some comments and replies. All right, so I'm gonna bring my file explorer over here and we're going to create ourselves a new file called comments and replies. Open up our comments and replies file and first thing we're gonna do is include the defines. Next, I'm going to hard code in this media object right here. So we have something to work with. We 
here's our media object. I just picked at random one of the posts I have on Instagram. And we're going to use this one to uh, display on the page and then get comments and comment on it as well using the Instagram Graph API. Now I'm going to start our HTML down below and we're going to display out our media object. we have our basic HTML set up to display out our media object. If we go to our website, comments and replies, we see that our video is not playing. Oh, what did I miss on the video? I missed the, oh duh, I need a height and a width and controls. Refresh that. All right, now the video plays. We have our caption displayed out. We have a spot for our comments to be displayed out, and we're going to dump the response right down here when we get it. Just need to add one thing so I can see my emojis. We need to add a meta tag. That will display our emojis. There we go. On to the get comments endpoint. For our comments endpoint, we need to pass along a media ID, the ID right here from our media object. We then need to specify the fields that we want to get back with each comment. In our case, we want to get back the likes count, the replies, the username that posted the comment, and the actual comment itself. Now that we know the format, we're going to actually create our endpoint. And our endpoint is just the base URL in our, from our defines file and the media object ID. Then we do slash comments because the endpoint is everything up to the question mark. That's our endpoint. Everything after that is our params. And we define those right here. First thing we're specifying is our fields, and we want all of these fields. Place those in there, and like every request, we need to pass along our access token, which we saved earlier and is in our defines file. Now all we have to do is hit that endpoint and get a response. In order to get a response, I'm going to create a function called make API call. Since we're going to be making a bunch of calls, let's make a function to make our life a little easier for ourselves. Our make API call function takes in an endpoint, the type, and the parameters. If it's a post, we have to do the post setup by specifying the post fields, saying that it's a post, and the URL is the endpoint. If it's a GET request, then we just have to specify the endpoint and tag on the parameters to the URL. When we get the response back, we send it back in a nice PHP array, our response array contains our response from the Instagram Graph API. This is what we want to dump out into our text area down here so we can see what we're getting back. We've made our first API call, get comments on a media object. I'm gonna refresh our page here. And if we scroll down, our array should be dumped out into our text area. Here it is, our data came back good. We have our um, comment. This comment was posted with the Instagram Graph API and the replies to that comment. Another comment and another reply. This looks like our API call worked.
the other thing we want to show on the page is our endpoint uh, format. Now that we have our comments, we can go ahead and loop over them and display them on our page. Here I'm looping over each of my comments. In the response array, there's a data object, and that data object contains an array of comments. For each comment, I'm displaying out the user's name who posted the comment with a link to their profile. Then I'm displaying their comment and the number of likes on that comment. Down here is where we're going to display the replies. Refresh our page and make sure that we have no errors. Scroll down, we have our username, a comment, and the number of likes. Click on my username and it should take me to my profile. Perfect. Now we need to get the replies for each comment. This means we have to hit another API endpoint. We're going to call this replies endpoint format. And the replies endpoint is just like the comments endpoint, except for this time we're passing in the comment ID we want to get replies for slash replies. Then we specify the fields that we want to get back for each reply. Here we're going to request the username, the reply itself, and the number of likes on the reply. So at the bottom of our page, we're just going to echo out the replies endpoint format. And then inside of our loop is where we're going to actually get the replies. At the top of each comment, we're going to define our replies endpoint. We're going to do endpoint base. And we're going to remove everything after the question mark. Now we're going to replace this IG comment ID with the actual comment ID itself. Like that. And now we have our replies endpoint. Endpoint base, comment ID, we want to get the replies. Now, just like up here, we have to specify the parameters. And the fields here we wanted to get was username, text, and like count. Again, we pass in the access token, like with all calls, and then we make our API call. This is why we made a function earlier, because that's all we have to do now, make API call. We call this the replies response array. We're going to pass in our replies endpoint. This is still a get request, and our, let's call this replies IG params. Pass those in. Now for each comment in this loop, we're going to get the replies. So we can replace this uh, count here with the actual count. And just like we got the comments back inside of the data array, this data array contains an array of replies for each comment. And just like we looped over the comments, we're going to loop over the replies. I looped over each reply, basically just copied the same thing that we're displaying up here for the comments and replaced the comment, obviously, with the reply, so we display out the reply data. Let's go ahead and check this out, refresh our page, scroll down, and our replies are now showing up under the comments they belong to. Now we can move on to posting comments and posting replies. First thing we're going to do is post a comment to this media object. To do this, we again are going to hit the different endpoints, and this is the post comments endpoint. The format for this is an Instagram media ID, which is our ID right up here from our media object, slash replies, and then we pass along our message right here. The first thing we want to do is we want to create our post endpoint. Our endpoint, again, is everything up into the question mark. So we just replace the IG media ID with the actual media object ID, and we do slash replies. Then we create our post params, post comment IG params. 
for this one, all we have is a message to pass along. So I'm just going to say commenting from Instagram Graph API. Of course, we need our access token. And last but not least, we hit our make API call function. We're going to pass our comments endpoint for posting comments. This is a post request. Specify post along with the post parameters. So when we get our response back, we're going to uh, dump this out on the page. And this should give us an ID for the comment that has been posted to Instagram. So we're going to refresh our comments and replies page, and we should see an error. Uh, what did we do wrong here? Unsupported post request with that object doesn't exist. Um, trying to post a comment. Oh, duh. Comments, not replies. Trying to post a comment, you got to hit the comments endpoint. Let's hit it again. Now it's thinking. Perfect. We got ourselves back an ID for a comment. So now, if we let's just comment the post out, refresh our page, won't post anything. It's going to get back our media object. And if all went well, Look at, there's our new comment, commenting from Instagram Graph API. I head over to this post, clicking on the caption there. We see my post right here, commenting from Instagram Graph API. I'm going to like that because that's an awesome comment. Refresh the page, and now we should see one like. There we go. We got one like on that comment already. Last but not least is the reply endpoint, which is pretty much the same as the comment endpoint, except for we specify replies. So we just pass along the comment ID, slash replies, and again, we pass along the message that we want to reply with. First, define our endpoint. And in this case, we need a comment ID, slash replies. So the comment ID is going to be that comment that we just posted. This is the ID that we got back in the browser. We're going to paste it right there so we can reply to this comment. Then we specify our post reply params. Again, just a simple message to post to the comment. Then we can make our API call and dump it out on the page. In this one, our post reply response array, we're going to be passing in our reply endpoint. It is a post, and we're going to pass along our reply parameters. And then we're going to dump out the response array in our browser. Head back on over to our comments and replies. Refresh it. It's thinking. And it has posted a reply to the comments because we got an ID back. This is the ID of the reply to that comment. Back in our code, if we comment our reply code out, we can refresh our page. Now, hopefully, we see our reply to our comment. There it is right there. Reply coming from Instagram Graph API. I'm going to go back to the uh, caption up here, click on it. Just want to verify that it's there on Instagram. There's our comment. And now, look, we have one reply. View that reply. Reply coming from Instagram Graph API. If we give that one a like, just so it doesn't feel left out, see how the likes are at zero right now? We're going to refresh our page, and now we have pulled in our like. And that's all there is to it, commenting and replying with the Instagram Graph API. We can get comments, we can get replies, we can get a lot of info on those comments and replies, but most importantly, we can post comments and replies. And that is going to wrap up this video. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.